Good morning, it's a new day and I am going to go to the fish market today which should be interesting, I don't really know what to expect obviously it's going to be fish are they going to be alive? are they going to fall on chop them up in front of you? I don't know um, but I'm going to go to the fish market hopefully get some sushi again I've just stopped off at this 7-Eleven which is here I actually had to go back to the hotel because I forgot my metro card um, so I've got some breakfast snacks and then I'm getting on the subway so let's go the like chocolate crispy things they're really nice, I've had them before. Not the healthiest of breakfast, but who cares for holiday. So I've arrived, I'll tell you what, you can smell the fish. Look at this, just knives on the street. Oh my god, look at how big these fish heads are. I feel like I've come here a bit too early maybe because everyone seems to be setting up. So there seems to be a lot of sushi restaurants here and there's loads of people queuing for them so it must be good. Look at this. Oh my god, that fish head is so big. And we'll come from the sushi. Thank you. What we're gonna have this time. I love this. Various tuna. Gorgeous. I think I might go for this, which is a nice little platter. Look at this guy's fishing now. Some mussels, I think. Look at this. Get the chopsticks. She gave me a soybean to try. On. There we are. So here's the fish market, and I had a nice little wander, had some good sushi, lots of fish to buy. Um, yeah, I'm glad I found that bit. Because I was thinking in the warehouse, it was like, this is random, this is so random. But here it is, here's the market, um, and I've, I've had a nice little wander around. It's so hot. My plan is to avoid the sun at all costs today. So I decided to go to Hongwanji Temple. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a little wander in here and see what this is like. I definitely just had a nap in this temple. I was like proper not enough. And then I was like, oh well, I might as well chill for a bit. And I had about a 15, 20 minute nap. It's a very napping culture. There was a guy napping just a few rows down from me, so I thought. I'm gonna join you. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go to the Metro and I'm gonna go to a place that I got recommended. But I'm going to this temple here and I think this is one of the older temples. So we're gonna have a little explore. Should be good. That looks so cool with the Tokyo Tower. So here we've got the big temple behind us and then we've got some of the smaller ones here. Looks quite nice with all the greenery. Just had a little wander in there. Looked very peaceful. Like the smell of incense is quite um, prominent. That's the word I was thinking of. I've already been to Harajuku, but apparently it's really good in the daytime, and I did quite like it. So I was thinking I might do that. So go to Harajuku, and then um, have a little explore. Maybe do a little bit of shopping, maybe, and then from there, um, I've got a nighttime plan. So I'm just gonna wait for that one. So I'm mid at Harajuku and I really want ice cream. Like, that's just what I want. This is the queue for bubble tea. Crazy. I just want ice cream though and I can't find ice cream. And I'm really sad about this. These are cute little streets. Look. Look, they're doing like a virtual 3D, what do you call them, glasses thing. Oh look, there's me. <laughs> oh my god, look what I see. I see an ice cream. So that's £3.55 for a standard cord. Japan is really expensive. It's really expensive, but it's just the nature of it, unfortunately, and you just gotta go with it. Can we just take a moment to appreciate Japanese toilets? And Korean as well, because they're the same. They are a tourist attraction in themselves. They are so clean, and they clean themselves. They just do crazy things. Um, I mean, I don't have to go into too much detail, but it's 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 great. <laughs> 
I am off to the Rainbow Bridge, which is super gay and I love it. And it's kind of going from sort of day to night, so I'm hoping to sort of catch a bit of the day to night. So um, I've been trying to get on my Wi-Fi and it's just not working. So um, I know I need to head east, so I'm just hoping that I'm just going to head east and then I'll see it because it, it, it's going to be big. So let's just see how that goes. Back to 7-Eleven to get some of these bad boys. We'll come back. Just see the top of it there. I've just been walking for the past 10 minutes. Um, I don't know where the best place to go is for a view, but we're just gonna walk and see what happens. So, oh, I've just seen a bit of it. So these buildings are blocking it all. I think I have to walk up and walk that way. But the Statue of Liberty is somewhere around here as well. There is a replica in Tokyo. Um, but there's the bridge. Woo! Although it doesn't quite look rainbowy yet. Maybe it'll look rainbowy soon. We'll see, but I want a proper look at it. Oh how I love you, 7-Eleven and I. 7-Eleven and I. That is me and you, 7-Eleven. You are a dream. Here's another 7-Eleven. There she is. It kind of looks like, a bit like Brooklyn in a way. It kind of reminds me of one that was in Aberdeen as well. Um, it's not very rainbowy though. See on here, but the little Statue of Liberty is just somewhere here. <laughs> I think it's it's about. Uh, it looks. Oh, is it not? It, it looks like you see there, there, there's there's a boat, and there could be part of the the boat. It chimney. could. Be, I know what you mean, but is that is that not just the the floor of it? It, it looks. Could, it could be. And that's just the floor of it, and then that's but, the. But that that looks like the bow of the of the boat, you know. Uh, yeah. Could be the boat is standing in front of it, but I'm not sure. Could be. I'm gonna say it is, just to say I've seen it. <laughs> that is it, <laughs> even if we don't think it is. Woo! <laughs> that is amazing. I absolutely love that this Mario Kart's on the roads. It just makes my day. So they've just closed off the bridge and we're just working out where to go because we don't have a clue. Just ended up on the beach. It's quite funny. John taking photos over there and then Rennie's having a little deeks at the sea there. Must be some kind of party. Check that out. Full on Christmas tree. So we're just walking along the promenade and it just looks so nice. I feel like I keep saying these phrases all the time, like this is exciting, this is amazing, this, but it just so is. I absolutely love it and you know what, I was actually gonna turn around on the other side because I was kind of getting nowhere, um, but then I met the guys and we were talking and then we kind of had a bit more of explore and then we decided, to go across, we decided to come across the bridge and it was the best decision ever. Look at this, this is the best viewpoint. Um, it looks so, so nice, but I am disappointed that the bridge is not very rainbow. Um, I thought it would be a bit more gay and a bit more camp. <laughs> it's not even the Statue of Liberty, it's a stick. It looks like it though. Oh, and now it doesn't. Where's the Statue of Liberty then? There's definitely one somewhere. That's the mission. Found the Statue of Liberty! Oh, that's exciting. There she is, I thought I was making it up. That is exciting. What a beautiful woman. John didn't believe us that there was a Statue of Liberty here. <laughs> Proved you wrong. <laughs> just getting food now, so decide what we want. I think I'm going to go for this because it's got the lotus. I love them lotuses, they're really nice. See, it's deep fried chicken and black bean sauce. You know you're with Germans when you've got beer in your hand. Cheers guys, thank you very much for letting me join you. <laughs> That is a good gulp there. Put on half the half the glass. <laughs> yeah, definitely with Germans. <laughs> that is a feast and a half. It's like a fish banquet. Me and Rennie got the same thing. Oh, it looks really nice. 
Enjoying it? So I said goodbye to my German friends. That was just really, really good to have some company. Really, really kind of guys, Renny and John. Really, really nice. Um, and you know, now I'm just gonna get my last minute roll and then I'm just gonna go head back to the hostel, I think, and have a bit of a settle down. Maybe have another beer when I get there. Because why not? Peace out. <laughs>